All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm here today with Josh. No, wait, John. <laughs> no, James. James. I'm here with James. <laughs> We find ourselves in the ace match. He's got a bit of a story to tell us in a moment after we get through these intros. Uh, kill some downtime in the opening. Why not? Spotting in the top right corner of the map, though, playing for TCM. It's the Red Zerg player, a vicious son of a god named Sulky. Yay! And on the bottom left position of Fox Ride, Blue Pluros, it's Rain. All right. So you were sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. We just had the game starting. Was all. Sulky. Um, came to a a weird situation where he was starting to lose interest in the game. Um, he's known for his defensive plays. I mean, his nickname in Korea, he goes by Kim Min Chul. Kim Min Chul is his, his, his actual real name. Pyok means wall. And Chul can also mean iron in Korean. So he was like the wall of, I don't know, unbreakable Solki in Korea. That That's what his nickname was. Ooh. And, ooh. And I lost my train of thought. Well, no, it's, it's funny you bring that up because <laughs> the point I wanted to actually go off because I, I thought that's where you were going with it. Uh, a lot of like the best players in the game are the ones that like came off that point where they were they were kind of bored. Like Snoot, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoot was bored. Yeah, yeah. He took a break. Came back with a swarm host better than ever. I mean, I do think it's worth taking time off if you come back better than ever. And uh, maybe you're bored. Maybe you're frustrated. Whatever the case may be. But in this game, we've got a hatchery block going down. Only six probes are pulled though. I think you need seven, don't you, to properly kill this? I guess six is gonna keep it at the same health and he'll eventually execute it, but um, you know, Sulky can of course uh, build, cancel, cancel, build again. Well, maybe it's just barely enough. Anyway, yeah, Sulky after leaving SK to Telecom, he had a month of break from the game to think about, you know, if he really wanted to continue in the game or not, and he eventually found more excitement in the game when he, you know, changed things up. That's why we see a lot of crazy stuff out of him in the, in the previous, uh, the SSLs and, and GSL and things like that. He's yeah, I like the more aggressive. that nobody's really expecting him to do. Yeah, the and more aggressive moves working out really well. <laughs> the more aggressive moves are really cool. Like throwing down another hatchery. He's still baiting out a probe on the other side of the map, so he hasn't been able to throw down an actual natural base yet. But he has invested in six links and metabolic boost behind this. So while he delays out Rain's natural base. Yeah, he, he goes for this really... Oh, actually, oh, Speedlings... Oh, oh. I think oh, Speedlings so are going to be quite dangerous behind this, actually. Ja! <laughs> See, just so far, this goes. he does pull the drone back, so... He's done! <laughs> this is no more. I've invested too much into these uh, shenanigans, but... As a couple of links dive across the map, honestly, four don't look that scary. But six with metabolic boost certainly do, and there's going to be a couple more behind this. Uh, Soki, of course, is going to have to start considering droning a little bit as well. His uh, natural base will be finishing up in about 30, 40 seconds or so. Real time, of course. But yeah, Mother Corps will deal some damage to slow links. If they can run past her, she is too slow to chase them towards that main. Uh, in the meanwhile, Probe did... Actually, it's the same Probe. Managed to make it back across the map. Ah, uh, still alive. Yeah, I, I guess he went back home, did a loop-de-loop. -loop. Psych. I'm uh, going chip away the Ooh. rocks in the back. This is kind of a cool move, because there's no uh, pylon. He doesn't see or hear this. Normally, even if you don't have, like, clear vision of it, if you've got a little bit of vision, like, you'll at least hear the you rocks. You hear the attacked. sound, yeah. yeah. Dude, I had this really weird bug yesterday, by the way, when I was playing against Tempo. Um... I, I did this really stupid proxy factory on Daedalus Point, but even after his lings left, like the attack sound was still there for like a minute. It's weird. <laughs> and you go, what? what's going on? What's I kept thinking, I'm like, like where's the lings? Like I'm turning my camera, I'm, I'm like, is there one ling I missed, like hiding behind the factory? Like what? Uh, but anyways, no, so sound is a pretty big deal. He's not gonna, he's not gonna see or hear this, which does suck. Now for Sulky's, or sorry, for Rain's sake, it might not be too bad to actually force him to invest into like a proper wall back here, because these rocks uh, will get knocked down again by Roaches if given enough time. The thing is that uh, uh, Rain's probably not even thinking about it. In a normal situation, he would have had something like a pylon or something to look at. He's just now, think he's just now gonna see it. But he was just so annoyed um, with those hatchery rushes. He was thinking to go for um, gateway double. And then he saw the hatchery, so he started, in the reactionary measure, he started building um, the simulator and started teching up really late. Yeah. So, lucky that he, you know, didn't forget, because the, those are the kind of things that throws off even the best of the best. Yeah. 
And let's not forget, guys, Rain is not this infallible perfect guy. Like, just two days ago, he finished last in his group for our uh, ISO Holiday Brawl tournament. So, uh, really on point today, though, which is good to see. Sulky, however, uh, still looking pretty good. I mean, three bases up. Doesn't have the highest drone count, and he has kind of stopped production for the time being to get some roaches out. Uh, if he's going to use these to continue to chip away at rocks, or at least pick away pylons on the backside, I kind of like that. But if he's going for just, like, a couple of just-in-case defensive roaches, I really don't know if that's worth cutting the drones for just yet. Well, there are four, four um, what do you call it, zealots kind of idling. They're now moving out, so the, the couple roaches... Are actually gonna do some work, and will be worth the money. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, the queen. Uh, playing a little Always bit got fire. caught. Zerglings wow, are gonna be given away. This. Oh, I, I like these hit and running with the zerglings and not just giving them away for free. Because I mean, they, that's essentially what they become, like free units for the zealots. But hit and running with the roaches, not just sitting there to attack. He's gonna get so much more worth out of these roaches, and he's only gonna probably lose maybe one or two drones. However, gonna be pulled. Yeah, sulky not minimizing even losses. The control here is fantastic. He keeps the weak roach at the back. Zells can't connect it. That's it. He cleans it up. Very little losses. An overlord died somewhere on the map. Probably uh, <laughs> scouting. But while this goes on, he takes, like, not virtually, he takes no damage at home. I guess the lings died, and that was about it. Easy peasy. Why can't I fix that? <laughs> well, on the other side of the map. You know, there's still those pylons up. There's one cannon coming up behind it. I think the roaches, though, they just tear down the rocks and just chip. <laughs> they can just walk past those, funny as that may be. But there's a lot of force field energy gathering up on these sentries, and there's quite a few sentries as well. Something tells me this, this, that might be a sign. Because uh, it looks like there's just way too many sentries right now. If anything, if that third gets cancelled and wants to blink uh, technology being upgraded, we might be seeing some sort of an all in from rain yeah uh, unless he loses the sentries of course if that's the case he really loses the potential for an all and while the lings are trading off for force fields he's gonna kill the nexus cancels that down really nicely soul key can disengage with the roaches that and he treats out lings for worth it yeah right? he, he, he burns like almost every force field there's almost no energy left on the sentries he gets cancel on the third that's a great attack from soul key for like a good dozen of the lings now even if rain wants to go for an all in say like seven gate blink soccer all in sort of shenanigans he he really can't because in order to make that work, you really need those force fields. Yeah. Yo, this is... It's weird, because normally we see Zerg players stuck on like this sort of Roach Link tech at 12 minutes in. You're worried they're going to lose to an all-in. But this is a situation where Sulky has got control of this game in a big way. I think one of the bigger scary things, too, is uh, should Rain ever move out and not pay attention to these back rocks, these back pylons? I mean, this is a very big vulnerability as far as his base is concerned. Mm-hmm. You can even just kill the pylons and just walk away casually. Which I think we'll probably see. I feel like this when you like tell a bad joke, the mic drop the mic, walk away. <laughs> you know, uh what's his name? Uh is it Tejas? Hmm? When I'm at events we me, me and the uh, the players we talk about, you know, what would be a cool uh ceremony and things like that and I think it was Teja that we were gonna do something funny when, like, the last tournament before he was gonna retire, oh, yeah. or he would be retiring. He'd like drop the mic and just he'd win. He'd win that tournament, drop the mic, turn away, or turn around, rip the Team Liquid shirt, jersey, <laughs> and just walk home. That would be so sick, dude. Like a like a boss. Maybe not the ripping the shirt part, but like at least dropping the mic and walking away would be like the best way to end anything. And if he did, I'm if done. he said something in English before then. That'd be super badass. Because of course everyone doesn't expect that from Tasia, right? No, like, it, it would it would even be more badass if you didn't say anything. <laughs> like this was your last tournament, you finished it with the championship. Are you sure you want to retire? He just drops the mic. Not a single word. Well, as cool as that is, a lot of stuff is going on right here. I'm sorry to interrupt oh, the story, but the immortal gets denied. The robo shut down. He almost killed that third. He's burned a lot of centuries and a lot of century energy while this goes on. And for Soul Key's attack. Go he might get the third, he might get the Nashua, he's going to get the Nashua, there's too many links on it, two bases down for rain! In fact, he, oh, turn around the sentries, focus on the sentries. Even the sentries are going to die too. Yeah, Sulky is destroying Ooh. rain right now. 
I mean, it's not the end of the game, but, I mean, he's done so much damage, it might very well be. We'll see how this translates in the next two minutes. He does immediately build both Nexuses back up. Or actually, sorry, he hey, didn't lose hey, this one. Hey. It almost went down. Hey, someone say he's translate? Translate? Yes. <laughs> 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 I love you, man. I'm not really the one who's making those bad jokes. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so the third base over here didn't die. I thought it did. My mistake. Well, there's still a couple of roaches we looked away last that was in the red. But uh, regardless, losing the natural base and losing that robo was really painful. Not because he lost the immortal, per se, but he doesn't have another robo down. He can't start production up immediately. And he's certainly not going to segue to Colossus anytime soon. And certainly if there's one thing you're going to want for his Colossus, or for the Colossus for, it's going to be these swarm hosts. Oh, Sulky, you dirty guy. And he's immediately, like, he has the, uh, the flyer weapon one upgrade started. The, the very classic, classic soul key, um, ZVP. Yeah. I, I don't know if we'll be able to kill enough of the Blink Stalkers to make the Mutalist transition immediately effective, but as we see, uh, it's getting a little bit hard to deal with. And I can't believe those got, like, seven <laughs> shots into the ground, but it didn't hit the Swarmos because it burrowed in time. It had no detection actually see the Swarmos. Oh, and the Roaches are focus firing on the, on the... Oh, I thought it was focus firing in the Nexus. Oh, he's Never gonna get mind. this. There's, there's like, oh, please get the Nexus. He's gonna kill the last couple of stalkers. Yo, honestly, killing the stalkers is probably a bigger priority, so you can swap to the Beetleisks. Soulkey's swarm host not supposed to end the game. It was supposed. It's supposed to uh, pressure. apply pressure yeah. and do what it can. Cause oh, and just, just <laughs> yeah, well, it's the game. Up. There you go. <laughs> Realizing he didn't have anything to deal with the swarm host is gonna be the toughest decision Rain has.